Hi, in another video I do the teardown of this uh, MIG fighter gun sight and I say that sadly I am missing the instrument here. Luckily today, thanks to eBay, I was able to locate on purchase a probably matching instrument. New old stock from 1965, it was uh, 12 euros. And I am happy today to be able to hopefully complete this thing. So let's do it. So I do not remember exactly how this thing comes together. I have four screws here to undo. They are not the optimal ones for now, but I can always replace them later anyway. Because it seems it is not the front plate is not coming off easily, so maybe we need to undo the buttons here. The scroll should be long enough and up. We have two extra screws at the bottom here. I'm really happy to be able to complete this device. I will undo the backlight here. And the front plate is still not coming. Ah, yes, it is coming. Okay, so what do we have? It looks like I need to loosen a little bit anyways the two buttons here because Yes, I need some play in these parts here. So about the instrument, it comes with a shortcut, short circuit, either uh, wire on here, on the terminals. It comes with a solder uh, contacts to the terminals, but I do not need them. Me. Okay. So it is a written indicator from a 0 to 5, some kind of milli ampere meter, something like this. But it is good for me. There is a seal here I will put at the other side. And I should be able to put it in the hole. Yes. Look at that. So, I do not know what was the original part on this, but it is the only model that is actually fitting the hole, so it was not easy to figure out because we luckily enough the eBay seller located in Poland did place the parts over a millimeter grid paper, so it did allow to figure out that it should be the correct piece and luckily enough it is the correct one yes the screws are not optimal but I will try to locate better ones later I believe they are uh, 2.5 millimeters quite an odd shape and not really easy to find ok now I have just the two wires to reconnect there is minus and plus I guess the uh, excuse me, I need to find the extra washers. I guess the white one will be the ground. You always need extra washers. Okay. One reinstalled contact, uh, the other one washer, 
contact with a very short cable here by the way oh they do just figure out these two wires are coming from a plug here on the top that is after it going in here i still need here to find the uh, light sockets uh, i am hunting ebay to try to find something that could be the correct piece there are a lot of uh, Soviet hardware uh, for sale on eBay, so I may be able to find it someday. Okay, just a little bit of uh, tightening on the contacts. Okay, and here we are. The thing should fit. Yes, it should fit, but it is in fact very tight. And I need to loosen it a little bit, I guess, in order to find the correct spot. Because if it fits on the top, it will not fit on the bottom. Quite annoying. Yes, actually this plate is... Uh, there is a metal plate here at the back, which is almost too big. Not an uh, optimal thing. Yes, I think uh, there will be some uh, file action going on here in order to bring the part to the correct dimension because really, yes, it is a little bit too wide, this thing. It is the backing plate here. So, uh, I will be right back. So, the problem is actually at the bottom here, it seems. It looked like the case was uh, received a shock and the corner here will not fit. So, uh, no choice here other than cutting the corner. Should be good enough. If I can cut this corner, uh, time for some uh, Dremel, I guess. Try not to damage my new old stock instrument in the process. And try to get focused thanks. Okay, there is aluminium powder everything, everywhere, it is very nice, so let's try it again, and now it is fitting, good, we can start over, like so, so let's do it again, we have the Two buttons here, we have the back, uh, light, uh, backlight plate here, we have the front plate, we have the two nuts to the buttons, fourteen millimeter nuts as always with Russian stuff. So you really want a good tool for them and the little backlight. So is it the same here? No, it is not the same thing I need. Okay.
Uh, it is better, so I can now, in fact, I can push this plate in place before I uh, actually connect the instrument. Okay. But the problem is the wire here is really short. Yes, this one is really, really short. So at least I will already connect this one. Whoops, whoops. This one has uh, some extra size, so it, it will fit, I guess. Okay, so this is in. I have to grab my nut on the ground. I have to put uh, extra washer, contact washer. Yes, probably the case did receive some uh, a shock at some point and is a little bit bent. But the given it is die cast uh, aluminium, it is easier to cut just the corner of the plate. And now we should be able to fit it uh, in here. We should be able. It's quite a tight fit by the way. Very tight fit. Yes, and because of a case in fact. Oh, it is annoying. So first I will insert the plate. Okay, and then the instrument. Yes, it looks like the instrument is not going all the way in because of the shape of the thing inside here. Ah, so it tells me it must not be the correct instrument for this. Is not going in here. Still the plate, still the plate. Now it is this corner here um, that is not uh, fitting also. Okay. Okay, we have some uh, file on the Dremel action later. I have to cut a little bit the corners here and uh, remove that corner. And now it should barely fit. It is very tight. I did also enlarge a little bit the hole here for the instrument. So we can try. We can try again. I need to reinstall first this plate. Here. So I am not sure if it is actually the exact uh, model, uh, correct model of instrument or not, because uh, everything is really tight. But also the case here maybe did receive a little shock and is a little bit pressed in. 
so I can reinsert that thing and reconnect the wires. Actually, two, the two bottom screws to the instrument will attach the instrument to the plate here and the two upper screws will uh, attach uh, the wall uh, part to the case. So it should fit now. I hope it will fit. Uh, because it is quite painful this thing. I managed to lose a washer in the process. Um, The wires are very short, which does not help. Okay. Let's say it is good. So I am now able to press everything in. It looks like so. Barely, it's barely fitting. Quite weird. So I can insert two bottom screws. I hope I did not lose a screw here. Two top screws. Which seems not to be biting in the metal, by the way. The thread at the back. So this one is biting really. This one also. So seems to be good. But uh, first I should fasten the lower ones. Not too much. So it is not uh, perfect, sadly. I was expecting something better, but there is no uh, space inside the case here to have the case of the instrument inside. So obviously it was all outside. So this is what it is supposed to look like, it seems. Okay, this screw is uh, probably too short. I will see if I find a little one, another one a little bit longer. And here at the bottom we have two other screws. Which... Uh, this one is okay. But this one has an issue. I will need to find a shorter one. Okay, but you get the idea. At least now the thing is uh, complete with a missing indicator. Uh, as I was never able to find a photo of its exact gun sight, I am not able to tell which was the correct uh, instrument here. Seems to be the correct one, but a little bit uh, difficult to put in place, by the way. Okay, I think it will, it will be good for now anyway. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.